Hey, 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 closet dwellers and closet busters. It's time once again for an uncloseted riff and rant, which means it's Friday. It's time for me to just riff and rant about whatever's on my mind. And I have to be truly honest, truly, truly honest. I've been thinking about this one for about a week. It's not just something that popped into my mind, but I've been working with a coach friend of mine on my speaking stuff, and we've been working through some branding and stuff, as well as my beautiful, 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 beautiful speech. Okay, well, it's not beautiful yet. It's still kind of a piece of crap, but we're getting there. We're getting it all put together. It's going to be kind of cool. I can't wait to do this one on stage. And um, one of the things that we talked about is, you know, what happens with people? Why don't they do the things they're meant to do? Why don't they take and make those big, bold moves? And I said, well, it's kind of that fear of missing out. And she goes, or is it a FOBO? I said, FOBO? You know, okay, so if you haven't ever heard the term FOMO, it's fear of missing out. And she threw this curveball at me, FOBO. And I thought, FOBO? And she goes, well, what if it's a fear of a better option? I thought, oh, that's a little bit different twist. And as I started thinking about that, I thought, yeah, a lot of times I think the reason people don't make those big, bold moves is they're afraid of that better option in life. They're afraid of that thing that might be really good for them. But then I thought, is that really what's going on? It could be part of it, but oftentimes I think the fear of missing out or the fear of a better option actually comes from three specific spaces. One of those spaces is you're just not satisfied or you think you're not. Now those are two different things I realize, but is satisfaction really what it is? Are you truly not satisfied? Or have you convinced yourself that you're not satisfied? I don't want to go all woo-woo here and go, oh yes, you can be happy wherever you are. Even though I kind of do think you can create your own happiness wherever you are. Um, but I'm going to beg you to question, is the big bold move you're afraid to make because you think there's a better option out there only because you're not satisfied or you think you're not satisfied? So I'm just going to drop that one in there and let you mull that one over. I know I just landed a whole bunch of stuff there. Are you not satisfied or do you think you're just not satisfied? The second thing that I think that happens when we think, oh, there's got to be a better option, something else better is out there, is we're just, we're just fucking bored. <laughs> we're bored out of our gourd. I don't know if you ever heard that phrase, but my, my I want to say my grandmother, my dad's grandmother used to say that quite a bit. And the boredom often comes from being very self-induced. We bring boredom on ourselves. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't want to do that. Or I don't want to do that either. Well, by the time you say, I don't want to do that or that or that, you pretty much have boarded yourself to death because there isn't anything you seem to want to do. So I'd ask you that when you think about these better options and you don't act on them, are you boring yourself to death? I know that's a weird twist, but are you boring yourself to death? Because boring yourself to death is actually self-inflicted. Finally, the other thing I think that happens for a lot of us is, oh yeah, we want to do something better, we want to do something greater, but we don't because we're searching for the perfection piece. Now, I'm not a perfectionist, and I think most of my friends would say he's not, but he tends to try to do things to the best of his ability. That's a little bit different. I, I think I do try to do things really well, but I don't get hung up on the perfection piece because, okay, here's my dirty little secret. I actually don't even think about these podcasts till about five minutes before I'm going to write them because I like the spontaneity. So if I'm doing this on the spontaneity realm, I'm not going for perfection. But I think oftentimes the reason we don't go for the better things is because we, we're waiting for the perfect time. And there is no perfect time. I know you guys have heard this, but I also want you to think about if you're going for the better option, does it have to be the perfect option or can it just be a slightly better option? Anything that gets you moving, gets you taking steps, gets you in action is what helps you move towards that big, bold move. Because you see, the truth is satisfaction is all self-created. You can find satisfaction in anything. Boredom is just a way of maybe avoiding doing stuff we got to do. I'm just bored with that. Well, are you really bored with that or do you just not want to do it or you know you should do it but it just doesn't fit right now. Think about how boredom might be your way, your defensive mechanism, your little shield of armor to keep you from doing stuff. 
And also remember that better often doesn't just mean perfection. Better could simply be doing something just slightly different. So when you think about the fear of missing out or the fear of a better option, remember, you don't have to be fully satisfied to go do it. And you don't have to be bored to death to avoid it. And you don't have to constantly be searching for perfection to keep from doing it. Because here's what I believe. The fear of better options is oftentimes just discontent with what we already have. And if you're discontent just because with what you have, then do something about it. But look at it and go, am I really discontent? Or am I just not excited about it in the way I could be? I've got this in my abilities. I've got this in my hands. I've got this beautiful home or I've got this great opportunity. I just don't know if I really want to go for it because I'm just kind of discontent. And so look inside yourself, ask the questions, am I discontent? Is that the reason I'm afraid of a better option? And with that, I'm going to call it quits for today. Remember, in August, just a few weeks from now, we are going to be celebrating the 200th episode of Life Uncloseted. <clears throat> Did I say that? No. But we are going to be celebrating the 200th episode of Rick Podcasting with the Coming Out Lounge. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when we do that, we will introduce the new podcast, Life Uncloseted. But until then, stay tuned. I love you. Thanks for listening and have a great week. And we will catch up with you in just a very, 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 very few days. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.